Right, what's up guys? This is another episode of Full Throttle. Um, now, I'm just going to make this one short and simple. Unless you have millions and billions of GTA dollars, do not get this car. Because I love Aston Martins, but this one is a complete waste of time in my opinion. Um, obviously, a weaponized version of the current JB700 with a new name of such incredible imagination JB700W which obviously means weaponized um, it's over a mil it's over a million dollars so right there it's a waste um, the weapons on the front yeah they're cool they actually work are they any good? nope um, they're as good as a, an, a, an AK-47 that's probably the best way I can describe them. Um, the secondary weapons, spikes, which detonate once you drive over them and blow out your tyres. Uh, last time I checked, most players on GTA have bulletproof tyres, which this will not affect. And then there's some slick, which obviously is the oil from the Arena Wars, which causes you to go very slippery. Um, but the type of cars that people have and the type of car that, that Rockstar release him. Um, I don't think it will take much, very long for you to catch up if you get slicked. Customization wise, no bumpers, no no skirts, no nothing. Original, JB700 had 12 mods. Um, the W has 14, which are the primary and secondary weapons. Um, but apart from that, there's no color difference, there's no bumper changes, there's no exhaust changes, I don't think. Um, I mean, I, I'm i going to be brutally honest with you. I didn't actually bother buying this car. I've just looked up stuff from it. So, just don't get it, because it's... I don't know what the performance is like, but if it's a sports classic, it's probably it, it's not going to be good in the sport classic class because I don't see many J and you won't even be able to use it anyway. So scratch that because it's weaponized and you can't use weaponized vehicles in races. So it's not even you can't even use it for races. Um, armor, same as any other car with 100% armor, goes down in one missile. Um, basically, I'm just going to say right now, do not do not waste your money on this car unless you've got billions and billions to spare. Don't bother getting it. You might as well just get the original, the, the $750,000 one, because it would just be easier. Because, yeah, you might not be able to get rid of the guns, but it's better than spending $1 million just to remove some guns that cost about $50,000 to remove or something probably like that it's kind of it's a waste of time and it's a waste of money to be honest to sp to spend one million dollars on a car like this that doesn't do actually anything to benefit you is ridiculous so don't bother getting it basically that's it that's this episode full throttle short sweet don't get the car it's a waste of money so hopefully next week there will be a proper um, full throttle episode hopefully you guys are enjoying the Star Wars Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order walkthroughs if you're watching them hopefully you're enjoying them I have got the videos scheduled um, up until the 28th so I've got one tonight on the 26th which I'm recording this on so I've got them all set up and ready automatically uploading uh, 9 p.m. One of them's 9:30. I'm not sure which one, but yeah, don't buy this car. Get the original because, quite honestly, ask yourself before you buy it: How often are you going to drive it? How often are you going to use it? So don't bother getting it unless you've got billions to spare. So I will see you next time. Please, Rockstar, give us a decent car next week. Um, I think it will either be the legendary motorsports sports car which I think is a hybrid electric car or the Sultan RS Classic or the Sultan Classic even um, which if it's the sports 
then yes, I will get it. If it's the Sultan, I won't because I've already driven it, and I'll give you my my opinion on that when that comes. But hope you guys enjoyed. Don't get this car. It's a waste of time, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.